Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at the HT-118E from Kaiweets Multimeter. Uh, Kaiweets sent me this for review, but I could say whatever I want. Um, Kaiweets and I don't have a uh, contract or anything, so they just send me this and I do what I want with it. And I'm really glad they sent me this because one of my favorite multimeters is this, the Kaiweets HT-118A. And as far as I know, the E is exactly the same. But this is a 6,000 count device and this is a 20,000 count device. So we'll get into it and we'll compare them momentarily. So let's see what you get into in the box here. As you can see, I haven't opened this yet. Okay, it comes in a pouch. That's nice. I usually lose my pouches uh, because I don't use them. My multimeters usually stay in a state of being ready to be used. So here it is. Oh, it's in a wrapping. You got the manual, which we probably won't use. Here's the device itself. Oh, dropped something on the ground, but I'll grab it in a second. So the pouch is uh, not even semi. The camera stopped recording randomly on me there. So let me uh, see if I can remember what I was talking about. So first of all, the leads that it comes with, they are uh, semi-rigid. So they're not as flexible as you would want. They're not like uh, top quality fluke leads or anything. Um, if I look here, it looks like there is a cat rating on it. I don't know. I don't have any way to independently verify the cat rating. So I probably wouldn't use them in a situation where the cat rating is very important. The little uh, caps that go on the end uh, they clip off very easily. They come off very easily. So if that's important to you, you need new leads. I take these and throw them right in the trash. So they're not important to me. Um, also, the end of the bananas are not shielded. So they don't have a little red guard. So yeah, if you rely on that, you need new leads. But again, I would say that if you're in a situation where the cat rating is super important to you, you probably want to get a different brand. Uh, these things work phenomenally for home use. I don't know. I, I can't independently verify if they're good for, you know, electrical safety. Take that as it will. Also comes with a uh, thermocouple. Looks like a regular K-type. Uh, what I do like, though, is they put heat shrink up this lead pretty far so they don't, they don't pull out of your bananas as easily and they won't fray like uh, sometimes they do. So that's good to see. Um, the device also has a tilting bail and in the back has a screw to access the batteries which is good and if you see they are double A's and also they have a, a brass threaded insert here now one thing I didn't notice the first time around is that I don't see any access to the fuses so we're gonna have to tear this down uh, a little bit later on to see how easy the fuses are to get to because there is a 10 amp fuse and there is a 200 milliamp fuse as it says right here and so I would expect those fuses to be easily accessible we'll peel this back and check in a moment it also comes with the double A's which is not something that you can expect on every device you buy so that's nice. You don't have to run out to the dollar store to get some uh, double A's. Let's put it next to its little brother, little sister. And we'll turn them on. Defaults to DC volts, which is nice. I prefer that. Um, also, if you look at the little timer there, um, that means that it will turn off by itself. And I believe you just press and hold function when you turn it on if you don't want that. Yeah, there we go. So if your uh, thing is turning itself off, and you don't want that, then there you go. Uh, also, I noticed that they are pretty much identical, which is great. Same uh, same great multimeter with just uh, more counts, because if you look, I believe all the positions are the same. Another thing I've noticed is that the screen is a little bit better on the HT-118E, because I can see, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but I can see all the uh, ghosting of all the other... Uh, sort of digits there whereas on the new one I can't see it at all so I'm gonna see if I can get you a good look at that but otherwise 
Yeah, trust me, this one has a little bit more contrast than this one, which I think is pretty good. Still has the same features you come to expect from your 118A. So it has the flashlight over there. Um, not a fantastic feature that I would rely on, but when you need it, it's there, which is great. It doesn't cost you any extra. Same thing on this one. Slightly brighter, I'd say, probably on this one. Yeah, a little bit, little bit brighter on the new one. Also has the non-contact voltage, which is a very nice thing to have uh, when you have this multimeter around. You can double check. Don't know if you can hear that. Uh, capture the live wire. So it's just these little sensors at the very top of these multimeters. Oh, look at that. I may see coupled. Interesting. Um, so that's good. And so let's get these things warmed up. And then we're going to put them through the Kaiweets multimeter gauntlet. All right. I've got the Kaiweets multimeter gauntlet all warmed up. If you want to see how to make your own, there's a link in the description. This is this was made by me, but it, it was sponsored by Kaiweets because they stand behind their multimeters. So 18 degrees C in uh, the room right now. And I have tested the voltage reference with the Unity UT8805E. So I'll be including those voltages as well. And uh, also I'll be including the voltages uh, as read by the HT118A. Uh, so you can compare the two basically. So here we go. We are on the two and a half volt range. Stick that in. So the Unity read 2.4983. And so... Uh, you can see it's like one count out, which is uh, pretty good. And it's jumping a little bit, so it's probably, you know, up in the in the weeds here. On the 5-volt range, Unity measured 5.0001. And as you can see, this one is about uh, three counts out, which the spec is 0. 0.08% plus minus with uh, five counts. So well within spec. Seven and a half volt range now. Uh, Unity measured 7.4984. Um, and so about two counts out. Again, well within spec. And on the 10 volt spec, uh, Unity read 9999 and you can see about three counts out on this one. So again, well within spec, I would see no problems with that. All right, let's check the resistance using these precision resistors. I also went through and checked with the UT8805E. Uh, and so we have something to compare with. Again, 18C in the room. So here we go. This is 10 ohm. 10.9999. Uh, so this is quite a bit. So it's 10.14. Let's say 10.14. Uh, checking the specs real quick. It is 1% plus 15 counts. So we are within spec on this one. Let's check the 100 ohm. 100 ohm measured 100.050. Yeah, that's within 1% plus 15 so not quite as precise as a five and a half digit multimeter, but I mean, what do you want? The price wise, this thing is uh, fairly inexpensive. 1K ohm. This is 1.00040K. Uh, so yeah, again, less than 1% out. So we're good. 10K ohm. Nearly bang on. That's quite a bit of digits. If you look, it's 10.004K. And then 100K ohm. Oop. Look at that. Bang on there. So if we take the unity as gospel, this is only a couple of counts out. So again, well within spec. So that's good to know. As for current, I don't have a good way to test you know, up to 10 amps uh, at the moment. I am working on something. Um, however, I can do 
really small currents, um, which is where cheaper multimeters will typically fall on their face. So this is a good test overall. Uh, so I've got it for uh, 10 milliamps, 1 milliamp, and, uh, you know, a 0.1 milliamp, so 100 microamps. So let's see how well this thing does. It has a lot of counts, so it should work fairly well. So we are expecting uh, 1 milliamp over here. And this was measured at uh, 9.9641 milliamps on the unity. Pretty good. All right, let's move down to 1 milliamp. 0.99. Ooh, it says 1 on the dot. The uh, unity measured nine, 0 0.98989. And then for the 100 microamps, uh, 99.910. So this is still in milliamps, so it should be uh, 0 0.1 essentially. And that's what we got. So that's pretty decent. As for capacitance, I didn't bother with the checking with the unit T uh, because this has plus minus 4% plus 50 counts. So if we get in the right ballpark, we're, we're in the right ballpark. That's, that's about it. So here it goes. This one's supposed to be 82 nanofarads, 1%. So there's a 81.73, and I did short these caps out before we started. And here is the 100 nanofarads, 1%. And that is 99.69. I mean, you could be in the wrong city, and you'll still be within spec. So in summary, um, this is still a quite a capable multimeter for the price. I mean, you have uh, some features like the min-max, you can hold your, your values. Um, uh, it also has like the built-in NCV and the built-in flashlight, which is not things I would pay extra for, but it's a really nice to have. Uh, and so I suppose if you have this one and you need more precision, more digits, then, uh, then definitely get this one. If you don't have any at all, I would think I would just buy this one to start with. It also has a few features that I really love that are great for beginners. If I put it, put some shade over these, uh, uh, these, these jacks here, and I put it into volts, you'll see it flashes which jacks you should put your leads in. Now, that's not something that is necessary for a lot of us, but for people that are starting, or if you're going to lend your multimeter to somebody, that's quite a good feature to have. Now, some multimeters go a step further and they put shutters on top of them. And um, that's that's good as well. But, you know, this, I think, is a great uh, middle ground for that. And anyways, if you're lending your multimeter, you should probably show people my multimeter how to use video up there in the corner. Now, let's see how easy it is to pull the fuse out of this thing. So I assume... You have to take this over molding off. This is kind of like the point of contention for these multimeters. This over molding kind of makes them look like a like a toy. But I think the rubber protection is good to have. So here it goes. All right, so that came off. Let's take this apart. So this is the battery cover. That is off. I'm not sure if that was necessary, but it does look like you have to get into the entire body of the multimeter in order to get to the fuse, so I probably wouldn't want to um, accidentally blow the fuse. Now, these don't look like they go into threaded inserts. Hmm. Kind of clipped. Not sure if I'm missing something here. 
There we go. So that comes apart. And here we go. There's your, those are your two fuses right there and there. Now, I don't know what I'm looking for in terms of, you know, cat rating or anything like that. So I can't comment on that. But these things are at least ceramic fuses. There's a 200 milliamp. They do not look like the HRC fuses that I'm used to seeing in like fluke multimeters for use in electric cars and hybrids and stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure if I would use this, you know, above regular household wiring. I don't know if I'd use this in an industrial setting, but again, I can't comment on, you know, if it would be safe or not to use. I, I just don't have the information. What I can tell you though, is that you don't want to blow the fuse too often because these screws are just in plastic. So I guess if you're looking for something with a lot of digits, I would go with this one. Um, but honestly, if there's a sale going on on Amazon or on Kiwi's website or whatever, all the links will be uh, down below. Um, you couldn't go wrong with either one of these. So if one of them is on sale and the other one's not, and you're looking for something to just tool around the house with, uh, do electronics projects, stuff like that, uh, you can't go wrong with any of these. Um, however, if you're looking for something that'll get you a little bit more digits of precision, uh, sort of a little bit more range of precision, I guess, I would say uh, definitely go for the HT-118E. I can say with confidence that, that they're going to be great because I've used the snot out of this one uh, and this thing has never let me down. And so I expect this one to be exactly the same. Thanks for watching.